coaches. First off, what was it like to be Wildcat State? Unbelievable atmosphere. I've been really fortunate in, uh, you know, my, I think, 18 years of college football to be in some big venues, uh, national championship games, Team USA overseas, and uh, this ranks right up there with some of the best memories I've ever had uh, being on a football field. Uh, very special night because so many people have put so much hard work into it. I think the thing that made it cool for me, it wasn't how many people had their family here. You know, our coaching staff, I had about 20-something family members here. Uh, just seeing so many people that have put their work into it uh, to go out and get a win, uh, it was very important. And, uh, you know, it's a milestone uh, for our football program. You started out a little slow. Yeah. I think so, and, and, and obviously um, we were disappointed in that because we've been talking about that since Sunday night. Like, hey, we we, we got to be passionate, not emotional. You know, emotion wears off, passion doesn't know. But I saw guys making mistakes in those first two. I think we had eight penalties in the first two drives. Very uncharacteristic. It wasn't like it was freshmen making those mistakes. It was junior, senior. So it's something we'll learn from. But you don't have to be really happy with that defense. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. You know, I mean, again, I made it very clear coming here that we were going to start playing great defense again. Um, you can't win a championship if you don't have a great defense. We spent a lot of resources on defenses in the offseason. I'm extremely proud of our coaching staff, Coach Jackson. He is a tremendous teacher. Uh, he not only teaches the players, but he teaches the assistant coaches. Um, he's very passionate and he loves those kids and they feed off that. And, um, it was just great to see us flying around. And the other thing is you ran the ball a lot. Ran it. You know, Coach Lamberson was something he really wanted to <sighs> fix this week. And he was all over the offense in a real positive way and the O-line and the fullbacks and the tight ends. That so We've got to be better at running the football because, again, it all plays together. I mean, you can't go out and throw the ball 75 times and think you're going to play great defense. It don't work like that, at least in my opinion. And so I thought um, our guys bought into that and we ran the ball better tonight. No, and Dallas put up massive big runs. He did. It's just so proud of him. He continues to, to grow, uh, play inside. It's that fine balance because, you know, he makes plays and there's times you're like, oh, great play. And then you're like, no, you know, don't throw that ball. But uh, you, and it's hard for me, but I got to let Dallas be Dallas sometimes. And I mean that in such a positive way. I'm so proud of him. He's gotten so much better in our system since the spring, and he's going to get better each week. You know, and you talk about, you know, his fourth night. Yeah. Or the state and everything. This is your first win. So yeah, like absolutely. Yeah, yeah, trust me. I've been thinking a lot about it. Um, I'm, I'm super excited because we're 1-0 and in the league, and, and that's, you know, just a great way to get the conference started off. Those, those non-conference games are behind us, but certainly um, it does. I'll be honest. It just feels really good uh, to kind of finally get that off my shoulders, and, and uh, you know, hopefully we're going to get a lot more of those this year. Coach, do you think the yeah. excitement uh, just Wildcat Stadium factored in a little bit to the slow start? I do. I do. I think I think our nerves were a little high, and, and obviously we had been talking about that. You didn't want that to happen. But I do. I mean, I was looking at guys in the eyes, and they were like, they were so jacked up. It was like, yeah, I take it. You know, it wasn't freshmen. It was the older guys. And so, again, that's something we got to learn from because next week's going to be emotional too. And then you mentioned a couple of those early penalties. Um, the place was loud early on. And yeah. Actually you experienced that going to, you know, a visiting state. Sure. Did that factor in the noise? No, I don't think so. It was just some ba uh, blocks in the back, some, some misalignment stuff, and it's just guys are going to watch that film and just be upset with themselves. And then finally, um, you went down the field a couple times on those long passes to call yeah. on a couple others, but you really focused on, you know, getting it to the outside. Is that something you were seeing? Yeah, yeah, we felt like uh, with what they were going to do, they were very good on their front seven, front eight. They were really stacking the box and blitzing a lot. And when a team's going to blitz you and play man coverage, either you got to beat it throwing the football with screens or you're going to beat it with outside like jet sweeps because the guy in man coverage is following him from behind. And so I thought uh, Qualls and Miller, that really fits to their strengths. Yeah, coach, your receivers, I feel like they're just yep. tonight. We have about six or seven guys. Yeah, yeah it is. It is. We, we, uh, I know you didn't see it the first two weeks. We would like to, if we run 80 snaps tonight, we would like to throw it for 40 and run it for 40. We want to be that balanced. And then you take it a step farther. You spread the ball out amongst those 80 plays. And it's, in my opinion, it's a force multiplier. It looks like you're, if you can do it right, it's almost like you're playing with 12 or 13 guys on the field. Uh, Coach, one more thing. 
Yeah. I think so. I, I'll be honest with you. I think that took a lot of pressure off us. I really do. I think it would have been a tight locker room at half. That was a huge play. Great throw, great protection. Thank you, guys. All right, so first off, just as a senior and a captain, what was it like for you to take the field at Wildcat Stadium tonight? Oh, it was amazing. I mean, it was almost overwhelming. We had to sit back and actually calm down and play our game for a little bit. And I even had to do it to myself. I had to tell myself, man, you got to calm down. You're getting a little too excited. And once you get outside of your body and outside of, you know, the norm, things start happening that you don't want to happen. So we had to calm down. But it was a great, great atmosphere. Coach Doral said you guys talked about that during the week of trying to control things. But just how hard was it out there? I, I just don't think you can practice something like that. I mean, the fans were amazing. The turnout was amazing. I, that's just something you can't practice. We just had to get used to it, and we did. So next week we'll come out, we'll come out better. We'll come out fired up and honed in and focused. How do you feel like your touchdown run changed the momentum for you guys, especially with it being an extra effort play? Yeah, uh, with me being a captain on this team, I, I'm not really a vocal guy. I don't really like to just do a lot of hoorah and, and yell and things like that. Um, I like to show. I like to um, do things to get people hype. And I feel like that's, that play helped my leadership today. I feel like me doing my 111th, which is being a running back and also being a leader, I, I felt like that play helped me in both ways. Uh, Coach Doral mentioned when we talked to him, and he said that Coach Lambeau was determined to get the running game going this week. Mm -hmm. How are you guys able to improve that over the next couple weeks? Uh, we just focused. Uh, we just, he challenged us this week. And as a man, when you're challenged, you got to step to the plate. And that's what we did. So you scored the uh, first touchdown ever yeah. in Wildcat Stadium. How does yeah. that feel? Yeah, it's really cool. I mean, that's something I've been thinking about since I've seen the dirt pile out here. It was, It's just amazing. Me and my dad always talk about it. And I, we used to joke around, like, man, wouldn't it be cool? And nobody scored in that stadium before. And I'm just like, man, that would be cool. So it was a goal. It was definitely a goal of mine, and I achieved it. Some, uh, there were some after play penalties that you guys got tonight. Yeah. But I mean, it's completely understandable you guys yeah. wrapped up this game. Is that yeah. in the, were you all wanting to be so rowdy tonight? Or uh, that, that, that was just one of those passion plays. Just, I mean, when I came to the sideline and, and coach was talking to me, I didn't even know what I did. It was just kind of just a reaction. I was so, it was so built up in me and it was so surprising to me that I actually scored. I mean, I just, I just went crazy. And, Next week, it'll be better. I'm going to be better at that. Bolton, what was it like? Your guy that's been here a while. What was it like tonight to take the field at Bobcat Stadium? It, honestly, I, I really couldn't explain it to you. You really had to be there, be on the field with this. It was just unbelievable having a, actually like a home to protect and having something to really fight for. And I feel like that's really why we did so good tonight because we were just so passionate about this team, the stadium, our fans, our donors, everybody that really took part in making the stadium and just making this possible. And for the defense specifically, was that something you guys were harping on this week of protect? Oh, yeah, for sure. Not even just the defense, the offense, just everyone collectively, the coaches. We were just all working really hard this week um, in practice, giving them great effort, great enthusiasm, great second effort, and all of it showed off tonight. You guys hold Houston Baptist to 129 total yards. What was, what was the key to that? Just execution, doing your 111. Everybody does their job, we're going to come out victorious. Bolo, you really emerged as kind of one of the leaders in tackling last week, and then uh, you think that translated. How that helped you translate that next week? Um, I really like didn't really like to think about it that much. I was just doing my job, you know, as a safety. If I have to make a tackle, I have to make a tackle. So I was just doing my job for the team. I was doing my 111, then I just happened to come out with 17 tackles, and I just put that mentality, just doing my job, and just being doing my part. In the defense. One specific play for you: that play down the middle, Houston Baptist about to get a big game. You break up that pass um, to the tight end. What were you thinking? What were you seeing there? Um, I was just middle of the field, looking at the quarterback's eyes. I saw his target, and I just ran downhill and made a play. Good deal. Cool. Thanks, Appreciate it, Bowling. Appreciate it, guys. Uh, all right, Sam, as a senior captain of this team, what's it like to take the field tonight? Uh, it was incredible. You know, we, we've thought about this game for so long, and 
you know, just getting to this week, going through the process. Even today, I was telling a lot of my friends that it really didn't feel like a game day. It was truly incredible. Uh, the hype, the crowd was amazing. You know, the, the team unity, the guys on the sideline were going crazy. It didn't matter if you were a uh, fourth year starter or whatever. Everyone was in, uh, excited to be on the field today and go play. It was difficult. Um, I kept trying to tell myself all week that I needed to be extra calm today. Not, I didn't want to wake up with a lot of energy because I was like, I'm not going to need to produce any energy myself. I'll just need to gather from the crowd and everything. But, you know, I think for being in front of that crowd for our first home game, it wasn't bad, you know. We had our struggles, and I think we'll be able to learn from it. But, you know, it's almost near impossible to not be excited <laughs> when you see that crowd there. Uh, the defensive game plan really was just to uh, do our job, do our 111th. You know, every single person had their job in every play. You know, we don't change our plays or anything. We, we go in with our set plays and out of our playbook every single week. But um, Coach Jackson was very big on us doing our 111th this week, just going out as a unit and believing in ourselves and just carrying that through throughout the game. You only allowed 129 yards. Would you say you did that? I would say so, yes. Uh, it's, it's great. You know, I really enjoy being the older guy on a team like this because we have so many young guys with such great potential that contribute and they're so unselfish. And just being able to play with a team like that is incredible. Sam, it's really kind of noticeable these last few weeks. The defense not only has played better, but there's a lot more hard hits, it seems like. Is that something that's been a motto of you or you all just kind of going out there and playing? Uh, yeah, actually, um, Coach Jackson has been pushing us qu uh, quite a bit in practice. He's been wanting us to realize our true potential. You know, yeah, we have guys that have incredible athletic ability, and they can go make those hits every play, and he's just trying to get people to realize that. And they definitely have been working us hard in practice, making us hit more, being more physical, and they're big on that because we want to set the standard as a physical defense in this conference. Uh, last thing real quick. Um, your coverage, it was, I mean, the quarterback ended up with the second street quarterback because he really could fly off. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, our secondary was doing great things. You know, Bolu and Brandon were lighting people up left and right, and then our corners are locking people down. I was telling Adonis at one point, I feel like I didn't even see him in the game because they weren't throwing his way half the time. And I love doing that because uh, as a linebacker, that means on a pass, I can just hang out a little bit and just worry about the quarterback scrambling. So uh, I really enjoy games like that because it's just great to see those guys get the uh, hard work deserved to be able to show it.